What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the tutorial action. Today I was feeling like I wanted to really explain a concept uh, in Age of Mythology, which is you have to be prepared for every single different circumstance you're thrown with. So I'm going to call this one the first four minute rule. You've got to be able to know exactly what to do in the first four minutes for whatever strategy you want to be doing. So in this one, I'm going to be showing Isis. I'm going to give you several different situations you might find yourself in in the classical age and then how to make the build work with what you've got. So uh, what we're going to class these as is enough food, not quite enough food, and really not enough food. The really not enough food one, I'm gonna do as a, you don't have starting line of hunt food. That's the, that's that one. And then also I'm, I'm gonna show off some, some water shenanigans up, up, until the, up, up until the four minute mark. So without further ado, let's jump into the first one. See what we're gonna get here. So first map, this is our enough food variant. We get 900 food here. Absolutely perfect. Uh, I see people not doing this. This here is a little trick. Wait, well, look, look, look. This is a little trick. Use the pharaoh to shoot the, uh, the giraffe nice and close. Two hits from the pharaoh and the giraffe is dead. Uh, with the with the help of your villagers as well. We're also going to be scouting. That's going to be important to throw down a couple of obelisks here as we're trying to uh, get that all sorted. Next villager is going to come in here and I'm actually going to be killing this as well because it's in a really nice place. So we'll do that there and we're off to the races. So you will notice that this is 900 food and this is what I call the enough food variant. Enough food to do whatever you want to do with this amount of food. So we'll show you exactly what we mean. As I feel like I need to wait on this next obelisk before I... Actually, I can throw the obelisk down. Actually, no, I can't. Actually, yes, I can. No, I can't. I want to throw my monument down now. So the obelisk... This obelisk has to wait. And we're going to be moving on here. We pull another obelisk and we keep coming around. I want to move this giraffe nice and close here. So it's starting. So the way that the hunt works, the starting position, that giraffe was over here. So if I shoot it away from us, it's got a very, very high chance to come back to its starting position, which is right next to my granary here. As you can see I shot it away and it's coming all the way back. So that's a little trick you can use. You can just kill it right next to your granary and Bob's your uncle. Jill's your aunt. Happy days. Pause. This point here depends on what strategy you want to do. If you want to go one town center here, I recommend going wood. If you want to go two town center here, I recommend gold. So I'm going to go gold. So when we go wood here, I'll probably only two villages on wood and then villages to gold is fine. As this food is going to be finishing up soon, we need to be getting ourselves the temple up. At some point in the near future would be good. Right, so that temple might be a little bit late, but that's what we're going with. Uh, and more villages onto the gold. You can see that we have a lot of food left in this giraffe. There should be plenty to advance. Uh, we might need to be empowering this a little bit. We might need to throw some houses down. So let's move up here, start building our houses. And there should be one more villager after this, or two more villagers after this, as the villagers finish up over here. They can move to their second food destination. Empower the temple here, make sure that that gets up. Happy days. And we are off to the races. So that's going to be the pause here. Um, that villager should be out. That's going to be the pause here. So you can see we've got eight villagers on gold, eight villagers on food. Perfect advance time off of that uh, 900 food here. That's that's the build. That's the simplest way to do it. This one here, if you've got more food, 
then obviously you can do it. If you've got 1,000 food, you can do it. If you've got 1,200 food, you can do it. If you've got 2,000 food, you can do it. Anything above 900, you can see how perfect it was with the 400 food exactly. Monument, temple, house, all the good stuff. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so this one here is the 600 food variant. So basically anything under... Anything under 900 food, you basically want to do this variant too. It's just going to be a little bit easier with like say 800 food and, and it's going to be a little bit more tricky with 400 food. Um, I might show you the 400 food as well, but essentially we're just going to move over to these berries uh, or chicken if you're on 400 food instead. But you'll, see, you'll understand what I mean very, very shortly as we come over here. We're going to start doing this. When you have this amount of food, the first obelisk you put down is going to be really, really important going forward here. Uh, this, we do this, we do this. You will note, I'm going to say this every single time. Shoot the uh, the zebra or the or the giraffe with your pharaoh. If it's a three shot animal like a giraffe is, the two shots from the pharaoh will allow your villagers to kill it, uh, and it will be really really quickly sitting underneath the place where you want to go. So this is why uh, this is why that first obelisk is really really important because you need to find that starting hunt by this next villager and here we go get lucky found hunt over here so now we're going to send villagers over onto that location now unlike the last game where i started putting villagers onto uh villagers onto the the gold here straight away once i had eight villagers i'm going to put 12 villagers to food and then once this food in our base dries up finishes up we're going to go on to uh, we're going to go on to what am I talking about? Once our food dries up, we're going to go over to the gold. So there's a minimal walking time here. I'm going to kill this right now because it's in a half decent position. Keep dropping my obelisks. And one thing to make sure we do here is make sure that that zebra is going the right way. We don't want to shoot it away from the granary if we can uh, if we can manage that. So we've checked around our base. We're looking for our town center, which one we're going to grab there. No. And the other thing is we don't really want to bring our pharaoh out onto this food either. I think that if we bring our pharaoh out there, it's going to be really, really bad. So we have to be care We have to leave our pharaoh in our base so that he can easily move over onto our gold, so we can get that second town center up. So that is the uh, kind of idea thus far for for ISIS. Now remember. There is a point here where instead of going onto everyone onto gold tier, it's better to put everyone on, put a couple onto onto wood, and that's the same same thing uh, is going to happen here. So get that house down, get the temple down. I feel like that temple might be just that little bit late. Two more villagers need to move out onto that hunt. Look at how beautiful this sun is for our second town center. It doesn't matter, but yes, kill this zebra over here. In which? And then once we have our eighth villager there. I mean, these villagers here will come over onto gold as well. Here, I'm just going to empower this uh, this temple up because we did place it a little bit late. You did notice we did have the gold to put this up, but I am just bad at the game, and you are not, so you will not make that mistake like me. As we advance, so now we, we still have that exact eight and eight. Eight villages on food, eight villages on gold, gets our town center perfectly. Everything is fantastic there going forward here for ISIS. It's a 431 monument with rubbish food. If you have really good food, you can afford to get that second monument up. Uh, in fact, you could throw it up now as well and you should be able to afford everything. So uh, it's just a little bit delayed, otherwise completely fine, right? So that's the that's the lower food variant where you have to go on to a secondary hunt. So now let's look at if we can find ourselves a very awful map spawn, one where you don't get starting hunt in your starting line of sight. So let's jump out and check that one out. Alrighty, so this is our oasis spawn here. We don't have any hunt in our starting line of sight, so we will have to work out exactly how to make this one work. And there's gonna be a lot of different things you're gonna to have to think about when you're in these situations. So I want you to just remember the concepts from the first two different maps and then be uh, understanding of how much food you really need to advance to the next age and everything that needs to come out in what order in order to, to make that happen. So first things first that is important here is these villagers will immediately jump onto chicken, but not build a granary. 
Uh, so what's going to happen here is we're going to immediately send our pharaoh to the top. We're going to send our priest to the bottom. Scout, scout, scout. And we are looking immediately for air our hunt. And we should be able to find it relatively quickly here, I would say. Okay, so we find some goat over here. We do find some hunt over this side, but where's our... Uh, where's our... I mean, that's actually pretty good. But we, oh, there's our zebra. Okay, so we're going to move over onto the zebra now. We want to actually put seven villages onto this. There is 800 food here. So one thing that I'm going to do to make this just that little bit easier is only put five villages over here and then put two onto the other side. That's going to help us out supremely going forward here. Uh, let's make sure we do this. Come over here now. And I'm just going to force drop here because I want to make sure that we can get the next uh, that's six, that's seven. And then we're going to put five villages straight onto gold as our priest is going to scatter out. So one of the weaknesses here for Egyptian in this kind of situation is that you cannot put obelisks down at this point because we do not have the gold. And we do have gold right now, so I can put this obelisk down, actually. I could have put one, one obelisk down at the very start if, uh, if I needed it, but, but kind of everyone found what we needed here. Alrighty, so now onto this gold mine. Let's uh, do this. Uh, and we're just going to scout around now with that. Put, putting everyone onto gold at this point to try and get our temple up as fast as possible. If you remember the timing to get the temple up, the timing was it's actually about 2.30. So, I'm actually going to not put obelisks down. I'm not going to get a monument first. I'm going to get the temple down first to allow us to advance uh, for a 4.30 advance time. It's going to be it's going to be completely fine here. So, the other thing you want to remember here is we did want ourselves uh, eight villagers on food. So, we're going to have to think about that as well. And as the villagers finish up over here, let's garrison a little bit. And do this and chuck our temple down. Uh, and so we do have five villages over here, four villages over here. We're, we're going to chuck everyone onto food onto this bottom location here to try and advance. Uh, and then we're going to move some villages from this location over onto gold. Uh, when we can, we also need to get a house down. So let's do that, not forget that. We can also throw ourselves a monument down over here. Moving forward, so that'll help us. And we need one more villager after this villager to come out. Looks like we may have had just a touch of idle. No, no, it looks perfect to me. And how many villagers are over here now? We've got five. We're going to put six over here. So two of these villagers will be making their way over here. And these three villagers will be making their way over here. So that was really, really nice. Happy days. Beautiful. Uh, and now, if you take a good look here, we've got the 8-8 the eight, eight, and we are ready. We've got a monument. We're getting our houses down. Uh, we're going to get our town center up. That's the opening here for the rubbish hunt. Now, there is going to be a situation where you have only two zebra on this unscouted hunt. What are you going to do in those situations? Two zebra is 400 food. That 400 food is going to run out really, really quickly. So guess what? Only put four villagers here and then come over here, put these here, and you might even want to bring some goats over here to eat those while it's happening. So that's kind of the difference with the ordering where that's concerned. So I, I think the only other situation would be, it's a very, very rare situation, probably impossible. You're probably just going to kill off the, the set player if they do this. But if the set player visions, sends their priest forward and steals your two giraffe that you get from the starting from your starting hunt, you might only end up with like a total of two zebra and you have to work out what to do there. Uh, I'm just going to leave that one up to you to work that out. But this is this is the ideas that that I've got for these kind of uh, situations. All right, so we're gonna do Mediterranean now. Uh, Mediterranean is a funny one. If you have food, you should use it. If you don't have food, uh, you should know how to play when you don't have food. So I'm gonna give you the not food option here, uh, or the no hunt option. We're gonna jump over here, we're gonna send them over here, we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna start scouting with our priest do this so first things first just looking for your fish trying to see where your fish is okay so we were here we drop that dock down come over onto gold 
This one here, this gold villager, I don't see many Egyptian players doing. I'm not exactly sure why. This gold, this gold villager helps you get your temple up at the right time without having to put multiple villages on it or without having to get your pharaoh to empower it. We do have food up here as well. Oh, well, doesn't matter. You're going to fall into those kind of situations. Anyways. Now we're going to be moving our pharaoh over to our food here as we order queue fishing ships. Auto queue from our town center, make sure our town center automatically trains a unit there, a villager. And effectively, the, the kind of template you're looking for is four villages on food, four villages on wood, two villages on gold. Uh, uh, so we go there, a little bit of force dropping is necessary. I'm not sure you'll be able to do it with a little bit of practice. Make sure this villager does not run all the way back to nowhere. A little bit of force dropping, all right. We get this villager over onto gold. You can see the gold is coming up. And something you will notice that I do here is this villager that I sent to gold at this point is a... Uh, is actually going to be building our, our temple here. So we chuck the temple down now. Boom. I'm going to drop that down as well. As our fishing ships slowly start coming out now. As these villagers start coming in, I actually want to be moving my villagers back into the town center so we can have the empower rate kind of perfectly going. And we hit that villager there perfectly. Nice. And hopefully there's not going to be any issues with this village. Looks like there is. So let's move it over here. Move over here. Keep searching. Bring this pick back. Got ourselves... Which, well, I mean, it depends on what civilization, because we're uh, ISIS here, we don't actually have to do too much with the with the house situation, but you do want to throw this house down at some point, so I'm going to throw it down now, uh, make sure I don't get housed, trying to get my fishing ships out of here. Now, we should be able to build two more villages, and then advance is the, uh, is the game plan here. And also, this villager comes back here. And we're looking for a 430-ish. So when this villager gets to about 60%, we're looking over here to garrison the far fish. Once it gets to 80%, we garrison this closed fish. And then we town bell and we advance to the second age. Uh, and that's the, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles, as it were. This is the, this is the, I would say the best way to, oh, I don't need any more of these, we have our knife, this is the best way to play uh, Egyptian in my opinion, on this map, get ourselves the dock down, and then we have one of these wood villages is going to be building ourselves houses and making ourselves nice and protective like, and you can even drop yourself a prosperity or something if you want. I don't particularly think that it's that necessary. This. If you find yourself have a little bit of wood here, you can actually just like swap your fair around. That's a nice little uh, thing we got here. And you can see that that gold is going to come in ever so slightly. And we're good to go. So that's, that's the first four minutes-ish. And you're going to have to kind of work out how to go from here. Uh, but that's, that's, that's Mediterranean. And then finally... The final build is going to be for your Midgards or your Anatolia. So Midgard and Anatolia are basically the same thing, but uh, it, it's a little bit tougher on Anatolia because you you need to be putting your docks up on the right sides of the map. So let's jump into Anatolia now. Alrighty, Anatolia here. Most of the time you will have hunt, so I'm going to jump onto the hunt first here. Uh, though, again, it's not that big of a difference to not go onto your hunt. Uh, you can go on to chicken and it's fine, but I'm just going to show you the hunt variant. Normally, I like to shoot the boar that I built the granary the furthest from. That way, I get a little bit of time to organize my villagers running away from it. As we come back over here, a little bit of sneaky sneaky, and we do this. So, one thing you will notice that I do differently in this in this uh, build compared to the Mediterranean one is I go straight onto wood here. 
I also don't care about Sphera being over here. And we're going to start spamming ourselves fishing ships. The other thing you'll notice is I spend the time to build a house on the bottom side of the map, or a, a, a lumber camp on the bottom side of the map. That way I don't have to walk back and forth all the time. And then, after we've done that, after this villager here, so technically we're about to have three villagers on wood, if you can think of that far ahead, once everything is, is sorted. We're going to start sending this villager to the top side of the map to build the dock up there. That way we're going to be able to afford the, or spend the wood that we're going to be gathering here. So this next villager is going to come onto uh, the wood for us, and now we need to get ourselves gold. So we have four villagers food, four villagers wood, and we're going to be going for four villagers on uh, gold as well. This villager needs to find the place, and there it is. Days, we're going to build a mining camp. This boar is about to be expired, so there's that. And now our fishing ships will start coming through very, very quickly. And this villager on this side can build us a house. It's just nice how it always works like that. So we can't quite afford this house, but I mean this fishing ship out of this place just yet, but it shouldn't be too far off. Now we can put two villagers over onto... Uh, Two villagers onto, onto wood, so we have six on wood. Keep building houses over here because you want to start putting more docks onto this side. And now we can come over onto our food to try and push ourselves to the... Actually, this villager can build us a temple. That's going to be important to throw down there, so that's not actually going to be our wood villager. Now we can look to throw another docks down on the top side of the map. We're looking for the fishing ship spot as we do find it. Making sure not to overbuild fishing ships on the bottom side of the map. We do want to get ourselves the docks over here. And as we do that, we can cancel auto queue, build the rest of the villages that we need to build. Start throwing ourselves houses in our base with this villager here. We're getting ourselves the fishing ships out that we need. Come back for that one there. And as this villager is getting close, is that going to finish? No. I'm going to force drop everything we have here. We should be able to advance, and we can. Happy days. They didn't, they didn't want to go where I wanted them to. I put too many on, on gold. Anyways, that's roughly the build here. You'll notice I have I will have six docks, and it's roughly a um roughly a I can't think and play at the same time. Roughly a 5.15 advance time is what we're aiming for. If you play it a little bit better, you will, of course, be rewarded. And you want to get both your upgrades. And that is the first, I mean, it's the first five minutes. It's supposed to be a first four-minute series, but I wanted to show a little bit more here. So that's every single build that you could possibly need for the first four minutes of the game playing as Isis. If you like this series and you want to see a little bit more of this, please let me know. Drop a comment in uh, down below or... Hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.